Do you want to be able to add green screen in iMovie like this? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add green screen or blue screen, and also how to crop a green screen image. Coming up. Hi, I'm Des, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add green screen or blue screen in iMovie, and also how to crop it to make it smaller. iMovie has two layers, so we have to be a bit creative when creating green screen and wanting to crop the image. I'm gonna be sharing some other iMovie videos and also YouTube tips and the best apps to help you get online with video. So if you feel that's something you like, consider subscribing so you don't miss a single video and also hit that bell icon and you get notified as soon as I release new videos. Right, let's get started. Let me jump on the computer and show you exactly how to add a green screen and also how to crop a green screen in iMovie. For this example, we're going to be using an animated bell icon. It's the same if it's a person or an object. In iMovie, when adding a green screen, it's important to remember that the green screen effect is an overlay or the second layer. That means it's above the first layer never the first layer. I'm gonna add the main video. You can import your media by clicking the import button here or click the import button here at the top. Or the easiest method is to drag and drop them. I'll normally have a folder containing all my project files, then drag and drop them into the media area. Drag your main video into the timeline, then drag the green screen to the timeline and place it above where you want it to appear. Now click on the video overlay button here and select green blue screen. You can use the softness button here for your image or video. You can also use the crop button to cut out the area of the video that you don't want. To clean it up further, you can drag the erase tool over the areas of green screen or blue screen that are still showing. You would have noticed that the image of the bell icon is too large. iMovie will not allow us to make this image smaller. You cannot crop it or reduce the size currently. To get around it, we need to make the image smaller before we import it and use it. I'm gonna show you how to make this image smaller and use it for your projects. This will apply to any green screen or blue screen image or video you want to import and would like to make smaller. I'm gonna delete both of these layers. Now I'm going to take a screenshot of the green in the background of the bell. If you're on a Mac, obviously press Command, Shift and 4 together. Select an area of green like I'm doing here. This will normally save to your desktop. Place the green screenshot on the main timeline. Now add the animated bell icon above the green screen. Drag the bottom layer to make it the same length as the top layer as we do not need it any longer in this particular clip. Now select the top layer, the animated bell icon. Select the overlay button and then select picture in picture. This will allow us to resize the bell to whatever size we want. Now place the bell roughly where you want it to appear on the screen in your finalized video. Now we need to export the movie, so click file, Go down to share and then click file. Name the file. On the resolution, click 1080. For the quality, select best. And then for compression, select better quality. Then click the file name. The name should be here and then click save. Now, highlight the timeline and delete both the layers. That is the bottom green and the top bell icon. We can now drag our main video into the timeline and then import the green screen we created. Now drag this over where you want it to appear on the video. From here, make sure that the green screen over the top of your video is highlighted. You can do that just by clicking it. Go up to video overlay settings. From the drop down, select green, blue screen. Now you can see the bell icon. As mentioned before, you can always, if needed, clean up this area by using the buttons above which is softness crop and the eraser tool once you've done this none of the green should be left on the screen you should just see the animated bell icon this is one of the best methods to get the green screen the correct size using iMovie however if the image that you import is already the correct size you don't need to follow the second part of the video just the first part just import the green screen and follow the steps. To help you get online with video, I'm gonna be making some more videos in the series iMovie. Also videos on YouTube tips and the best apps to help you get online with video. So, if you like that sort of thing, consider subscribing. If you like this video, consider giving it a thumbs up. Hit that bell icon and you won't miss a single video. I hope you found this video interesting and informative and I hope it helps some of you. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to, well, <laughs> well in this video
Well in, la, 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 la. well in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add blue screen, green screen, no. Well in this video, I'm gonna show you how to, 